probably seems like it's going to be a hot, hot day. So that means our best fishing is going to be in the morning. But also it's going to be nice because we're going to be waiting. Be able to stand in the water. I think it's going to feel chilly in the morning, but okay. be feeling good at 10 or 11. heard about Josh or became aware that he was even a member of the family. Um, I saw some pictures of him on social media and I believe he was an underwear model for Calvin Klein. And I thought, this guy, he's a goddamn underwear model. How can I ever find something in common with him? I had posted a few photos on Instagram, on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and you saw me on some ice and you hit me up and said, man, I had no idea that you ice climbed, you fish too, we gotta get together. Josh texted me and said, hey, I've been going through a rough patch, we, you know, we need to put together a fishing trip. Uh, I thought Pennsylvania would be the perfect place because I knew that he just wanted to hang out with me and that the, the fish we would catch would be secondary. Got it. I wasn't where I wanted to be. I felt like I was floundering around, kind of ups and downs. I wanted to uh, take away all, my, all the distractions that I had and fish. A couple of years ago, I found myself in a funk. There was some traumatic things that happened to several people during 2020, you know? I had a very close friend of mine who's daughter experienced some terrible things that should not happen to a young a young girl. I lost a cousin. He was killed in a car accident driving to work at 7.30 in the morning. And I herniated a disc. Left me halfway crippled for over a month. I was on my back. And for the first time in my, my life, I tasted anxiety that turned into, into depression. Susquehanna is just like a massive river and you, you take a look at a body of water like that that's like over a mile wide in places. Um, people who don't know any better would think you're crazy for going out on a river like that in a small inflatable. Within that mile of river, there's a hundred small streams side by side winding in and out and through the rocks. Some people, when they go fly fishing, they need like a really quiet, peaceful stream. The setting has to be perfect for them. But I'm a strong believer that you can create your own situation, you can create your own experience. To some people, we weren't in the most ideal area to fish. This is exactly what I needed. This is exactly what I wanted. I was almost able to like straddle this idea of real life happening around us and fishing. When I'm fishing by the freeway or under a bridge and those semi-trailers are just whizzing by, it's a good chance to say that's them and this is me. It's momentum. No celebration right now. Not yet! Not yet! In my everyday life, I've got texting, emails, all kinds of background stuff. I've got like 
300 worries going on at one time. When I'm fly fishing, it's not like I have no worries. I just have focus. Nice. Got him. Yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> Great fish. That's why you get up in the early morning, right? Yes, sir. Good job. Look at those leopard spots. We get distracted on our phones, social media, with work, our careers, and we lose sight of those sweet, tiny little things that really do bring happiness. Yeah! <laughs> you really had to work for that one. Oh, man, I got a... I think you had like three, three missed strikes. I know. It was a little <laughs> one gritty. One jumped off. It was a little gritty at first, but made it happen. Like you have to give up control of everything and be ready to accept what nature throws at you that day, whether it's thunder, lightning, rainstorms, you have to adapt. And I think that's a, that's a good le life lesson for the whole rest of your life. Awesome. Just grab on the rope as high as you can. Oh yeah. You got it. Give it to Bear. Yeah. Holy shit, man. Oh, the shit balls. That was awesome. <laughs> Whoa. That's high. You were so high up. When Josh hit the apex of the rope swing, and my mind was blown. All I could think is, let's get your foot out of that rope, let go of the rope. I couldn't believe how high he sailed. In that moment where he's just like out above the river, I, w I will never forget that because uh, I think we had a shared experience uh, at that moment because I was like, you know, He's probably freaking out right now, and I was freaking out with him. That was awesome! That was the most sketchy, sketchy rope I've ever seen, but we made it work. Here we go, here we go! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yeah, baby! Perfect! <laughs> Here we go, boys. Good job. My oh, man, I told you, Unks. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. That's how we do it. so it's close to the rock. Okay. Ross, you are on the way. Climb it. Climb on. Thanks for coming all this way. When do I get my warm-up climb? Right now.
just because it's home. You ready? I'm ready. On the line. On you. Hey, if you have any knuckle left. <laughs> Such a spectacular view of the river, right? Yeah. There's stuff dropping off all over the place. I got shells. Yeah. Love you, bro. So tonight we'll just float down this bank here, like right along the railroad burn. Like fish that entire tree line and go out on those rocks. All right, cool. Like one of my favorite places on earth. Everything that we wanted to do, the rope that we jumped off, the fish that we wanted to catch, we wanted this to be our reality and we made it our reality. And having that attitude in life has helped me out so much. I'm in charge. I create my happiness. For Josh to go through his own challenges of breaking off fish. Strike. Ah. You think that was a fish? I know, I saw the fish. Oh, you did. <laughs> Missing strikes, slipping and falling, and then finally, connecting with just like a perfect rainbow with perfect fins and just gorgeous rosy sides. It was, you know, it was a perfect way to, to end the trip. It was a reset, it was a recharge. I'm gonna get back home, I'm gonna get back in the grind again. But these moments that we had on the river and the moment, that, you know, the experiences that we had together, what we talked about, our conversation, it's an amazing thing that I'll be able to reflect on. I can tell myself, I'm bouncing back. I'm bouncing back, and I'm gonna be better than ever.